my titles, when I name things, the music is the music. Nigga, I make the music. That's why I do, this is my focus. So like, the title can be what the fuck ever. The title is for stupid niggas to get mad at. If a nigga sees a title and it's just like, I'm not listening to that, that's crazy. That's literally what it was supposed to do. Cause I don't even want you around me type shit. I produced, uh, wrote, mixed and mastered this song and most of the other songs in the same place, and that's in my my home studio. Most people, when they see credits on my songs, they think it's out of ego, but it is completely out of necessity. When I was making beats back in the day and I gave the beats to other people, they would either turn it down, do weird shit to it I didn't want, so I started just keeping the shit to myself. I would ask for beats from other people and they would take forever. Niggas don't have stems. Niggas are just not organized, so I had to take that into my own hand. I started rapping because niggas didn't like my beats, so I started rapping out of that because of that, and I started mixing and mastering because I could not afford mixing and mastering. I'm not paying someone $2,000 a song to make my shit sound like ass. I'll make it sound like ass myself for free. So like now that I do it and I've been doing it for years, I know what I'm doing with it and I love to do it. So like, yeah, I'll never stop, ever. Pray, pray. Pray you get comfy in your disguise. Pray for my thoughts on the other side. Pray for my chillin' I can't provide. I'm for 45. Praying is supposed to be something that you find solace in. I guess that's the intention of prayer. But like the way it was presented to me was like, do it or else. It's like a command rather than a uh, something you find any joy in. Pray when you shoot, it's a homicide. Pray for my haters, they terrify. Nigga, come kill me, I'm verified, but I'm still alive, yeah, I'm still alive. I know I'm threatening to a lot of niggas because I do a lot of shit on my own that I'm not supposed to be doing. I'm not supposed to be mixing my records. I'm not supposed to be, like, you. they tell you that, like, don't you give your shit to somebody else with different ears, blah, blah, blah. I'm not supposed to be doing any of the shit I'm doing. So me, I am a huge threat to a lot of niggas. You're going to see a lot of niggas very upset at me and they can't explain why. They're just like, I don't know, the, the, the lyrics or the blah, 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 but it's like, it's me, nigga. Not only are you scared of me, but I'm verified. I'm bigger now than ever. I have like, come get me. Pray that I end up like Charlie Stern. I'm so confused, I ain't hard to find. I push you pussies behind the pine. Hope you get some shine, hope you get some shine. So that line um, <laughs> is a mistake, actually. That line comes in around where the beyond the pine is, a, is I say it. And uh, when I was writing it, I think I just was like, thinking she was in the movie for some reason, but it was it's obviously someone else. I get I get my white actors very confused all the time. I don't know who anybody is. It come out the pocketbook every time. Feel like I'm shooting, I'm shifting time. Dressed in your grandma hand me downs, pussy nigga. Mm. I just feel like we should all, as black people, we should all accept us ourselves for like who we are. I remember back in the day, it wasn't cool for niggas to like in the hood to play video games and shit like that. Now niggas be on Fortnite sending death threats. Dressed in your grandma hand me downs just mean like you know what I mean? Kind of like a don't judge a book by its cover. I'm extremely non-discriminatory when it comes to two things, music and clothes. So I don't care. I wear it from anybody. So yeah, I have one. Um some of my grandmother's clothes were. Suck, I'm prominent. I was anonymous. I've been in front of you every time. This ain't a bridge, it's a collar crime. I put my soul into every bar, in every verse. In every rhyme. I'm putting my all into it because it matters to me and I actually care about it. And I know a lot of niggas don't care about rap and they in it for the money and blah, 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 but I'm not one of them niggas. So I put my soul into everything and I don't care if niggas think it's corny or whatever. It's not corny to me to be a hard worker. I can't feel my face, oh God. SMH, no ASMR. Woo! I can't feel my face means like my throat hurts from tour. Shaking my head, I'm just whispering all the time because I can't like speak. Imagine having to be silent like in your whole life except when you're just in front of a bunch of niggas. Show me where the profits go. Show me where the money goes. Also show me where like people, where the profits go. Like where, where are people who are like profits supposed to go? It can be used either way. It's, it's just supposed to be, have a double meaning. Honestly, that's the beauty of like rap in general. Other genres do that, but rap hones in on it so specifically. That's why I think raps, rappers are the best writers, like bar none. The way we use metaphors and the way we like double entendres, different meanings, the way we bend verbiage, there is no genre that does this. Like not even in the same tax bracket. It's beautiful, I love it, man, it makes me Horny, I love it. Show me how to keep my pussy closed. She said, you better count your blessings for real. Hey man.
man. The entire tone of the song is like being, it's like commanding, you know what I mean? So I'm singing, it. it's almost like a dark irony I'm singing it from because I'm singing it joyful, but it's not coming from a joyful place. It's just kind of like a fake joy. Count your blessings, be appreciative and just move on, amen. It's like a prayer. <laughs> it really is, it really is a prayer. It's a cynical ass prayer, very cynical prayer. Pray for my babies, they doing time. Pray that these crackers don't Columbine. Any regular looking white man is like the prototype for like these type of people. So like, yeah, when you see one of these motherfuckers, you have to maybe be on guard, depending on what they doing and depending on what the uh, environment and situation is. I'm presenting it in like a, a jokey way, but the sentiment is real. Like, I really pray that they don't. It's something like people have to think about. So like, I'm putting it out there because it's a real thing. I just pray that I peak before my decline, make him hit recline. You know my shooter, a proper dime, clarity. Nigga, these bullets get entered and clip and go into the kimber and hit your spine. Brittany, this is a Pray you grow healthy and hit your prime. Ooh, I should pray for a better line, but I don't want to make all my peers resign. I should pray for a better line, but I don't want to make all my peers resign. It's like, ooh, if I had a fire hairline, y'all niggas would be done, but it would be no difference. I'd be the same person. No one would care. 2035, I'll be 45. They say the church leave us all behind. Speaking in tongues like I'm David Bryan. I'm a nigga, so I mispronounced his name. I'm not 100% sure what how to pronounce it correctly, but he's the lead singer of this group called The Talking Heads, which I'm a big fan of. Talking Heads has an album called Speaking in Tongues that I really enjoy, so I was giving him a shout out because I enjoy his music. I mispronounced his name A on purpose to make it fit, and B because I don't actually know how to pronounce it in real life. He sends me emails. I'm on some some email list for him. I should, he be, I'd be getting emails and he'd be like, I'm on tour. I'm like, it's good. It's good, David Bryan. Bitch, I turn a threat to a never mind, never mind. Now pray for all of these niggas been lying in front and for company. You know how like cars need gas? I think like the music industry needs fake shit to fuel it. Like if the music industry was real, it would collapse because like all the money would go to the musicians. All the people in power with and, and who have no talent would like have to find some other shit to do. Bitch, I'm a diva, no punk in me. I try to approach like masculine ideas from like um like a feminine perspective or approach like dominant ideas from a submissive perspective. We need to like uh, strip these stereotypes and stop like assuming people are like, because they look a certain way that you can just like try them. You can, go ahead, but it's just like, it's not gonna work out for you. Fuck you want from me, I put you under me nigga. I put your soul in a struggle bar. You know what that means and you know who actually said it way better, Jay-Z. The rest of y'all only get half a bar. Fuck y'all niggas. It's just like, I'll put your soul into the laziest, like I won't even give you no effort. When you beef with a nigga and you're like, you coming at him, it's like you respect him enough to like respect his pen. I fear nothing from you creatively, so I don't even care. Praise the motherfucking Lord. So I've always wanted to have a song where I say praise the motherfucking Lord. I don't know why, I just find that phrase to be funny because it shouldn't exist. Like, you show that sentence to a certain sect of people, they'd be like, get that out of my face, it's offensive. So I think me growing up religious and growing up, like, going to church, I had to do it. So, like, bucket list shit. Do you remember the first time you saw, like, your first ASMR video or you heard about <laughs> it? Like, what is this? Yeah, I sampled that shit. As soon as I saw it, I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, there's no way you can hear a ASMR and, like, not get excited. You're just like, whoa. Huh?